Hi, my name is David. I'm part of the Vadio Technical Support Team. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a Cisco SX20 to a Precision HD camera utilizing a one-link bridge extension system. Before me lies the content of the kit. We have a mount, a one-link bridge, one-link eSIM, two serial adapters, audio connectors, 48 volt power supply, two Cat5 cables, two directional Cat5 cables, a USB extension cable, two HDMI cables, hardware mounting screws, and a quick start guide. So here we have our Precision HD, as well as a Cisco proprietary breakout cable for HDMI and serial. We're going to plug that in, as well as a power jumper. Now to that cable, we're going to connect our HDMI cable as well as our directional Cat5 cable. you notice that the directional Cat5 cable has labels on it, one for the camera and one for the eSIM. You want to make sure that these go to the appropriate places. Next, we're going to plug everything into the eSIM from the power jumper the serial, and the HDMI. Next, we're going to connect the one-link port between our one-link eSIM to our one-link bridge. From the one-link bridge, we're going to connect our HDMI, our serial, and our audio connections to the SX20. At this point, this is where you're going to use your second directional Cat5 cable. Again, each end is labeled with either the one-link or the codec. You want to make sure that each end is connected to the appropriate device. Once you have all your connections between your one-link bridge and your SX20, you can then power on your one-link bridge using the 48-volt power supply, which will subsequently power on your camera. Once your camera has started up, then you can power on your SX20. And with that, everything should be connected and powering on. Now, if you would like to use a Vario camera instead of a Precision HD, we do have the Vario RoboShot HDBT cameras, all of them with a one-link port on their backs. Instead of connecting to an eSIM, we will instead connect directly to the back of the camera from the one-link bridge. And with that, the camera should power on and should be fully accessible from the SX20.